What's up guys, Brody here from 533. Today we're gonna be continuing the build series for all the friends we sell here at 533. Today's video is on the Multi-GP Pro Spec Racing Frame. It's a seven inch racing frame from Multi-GP and it's its own class, the Pro Spec class. But yeah, let's get straight into building it. Okay, so this is what you're gonna be given when you get a Pro Spec frame kit. You're gonna get four arms, bottom plate, mid plate, and your canopy and all of your hardware. You're going to need a 2.5 mil driver for this build. But yeah, let's get straight into it. So you're gonna get your mid plate and your, you'll know that this is the bottom and this is the top because the press nuts are sitting on the top. The press nuts are these little metal things. You're given two different mounting patterns, a 20 by 20 and a 30 by 30. The 30 by 30, of course, being the bigger mounting pattern. Your static screws are gonna be the longest screws you are provided with in this entire thing. So we recommend the 30 by 30, but you can basically just hand tighten these in, just like so. But yeah, we recommend the 30 by 30 mounting pattern. Okay, the next step is we're actually gonna go ahead and get the canopy build out of the way. So you're just gonna get one of your sides. You'll know what the outside and the inside is because the inside hat is carved out almost and then the outside is just flat. So you're gonna take both ends and you're going to get one of your metal standoffs like this and line it up with the hole on the inside. And you're gonna get one of your screws. Just screw it straight in. And you should have something like this, and you're going to repeat that for this side. So now you've got half of it done. And then you're going to go onto the other side, and you're going to lay this flat on its back. Like you're just going to lay it down. And you're going to set this on top of it, lining up the exact same holes on the other side. And you're just going to screw straight into it. And I would recommend torquing all this down with your 2.5 mil. You can set that off to the side. Your next step is you're going to get your long and your short screws. They should look similar. It's uh, these medium or these large screws. I would say the only other screws you have are these little two. You don't need those right now. You're just going to get these two out. You can go ahead and unbox both of these. So a good way to think about it is the short ones are not going to come above the plate. So if I can line this up, so your long ones are going to go on these outside holes right here and your short ones are going to go in these two middle ones on both sides and then your long ones are going to go on the outside holes. So you can also go ahead and get your bottom plate and this is going to be countersunk. So countersunk means that it's got this little divot right here. So you're going to take the countersunk side and hold it like this facing towards you, you're going to get one of your arms, put it in the back like this, so the countersunk side is still facing you, and you're going to get your longer screw that you're provided with, place that on the outside, and then you're going to get your mid plate, and you're going to thread it straight through. It actually doesn't matter what orientation you put this on, so you can just put it on your mid plate, and it's going to go straight through the frame just like this and then you can get your short screw for your short ones that is through that hole right there and now it should be stuck there and now I would go from this side across then to this one and that one and you're going to do the rest of the sides exactly how we just did that one
Okay, so now that you have all four of your arms on, you are going to want to go ahead and torque down all the screws. I would continue to hold it face down because if you don't, these screws on the outside are going to fall out because they have nothing to grip onto. But I would torque this screw, this screw, this screw, and this screw, the four on the inside. So now that you have those tightened down, you can actually get your pod and I can show you the orientation of this frame. So the back is going to have this hole, this literal circle, and then the front is going to have this more oval. So this is the back, this is the front, and then you're going to get your pod, and then the front of the pod is this, and this is the back of the pod. So you're just going to set it down straight on top of the outside screw. So you can see in the bottom of this, it has these screw holes. You're going to set the front two on the most front two holes that you have, and then every other screw is going to line up once you get those set on. So now you can flip it over, and you can screw down the outside holes. Okay, now that you have all those tied down, you should have something that looks exactly like this. And you are going to take these last two screws that you were provided with, they should look something like this. And these are going to go in the very back, these two holes right here. It's going to be this last little security of this pod. You should screw on just like so. And that should complete your multi GP pro spec racing frame. That's what it looks like. And yeah, that is the pro spec racing frame. So, I did want to quickly explain at the very end of this video the TPU you will be getting when you order a pro spec racing frame. You will be getting three parts your camera, your antenna slash light bar TPU, and your VTX mount TPU. The camera TPU will go on the front of the quad in between this and these two holes on the canopy and your antenna TPU will go on the back right here on this bar right here and this will double as a light bar holder so if you have LEDs you can slip your LED under this little lip, slips right under it. And this will go all the way to the front of your quad like this and hook straight into the back of your camera just like that giving you LEDs and your VTX holder goes in between these two holes right here on the inside of your quad so it'll just sit in between right there and that holds your VTX that's what these holes right here are for to hold your VTX and I would like to also mention that these holes right here, these little channels, are for MR30 connectors for your motor wires. So you can have clean motor wires to go up the arm straight into these little channels so you don't have to wire it around. But yeah, that is what I wanted to add in the video just so you guys know where to put TPU and what the channels are for for wires. Okay guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Of course, this was on the Multi-GP Pro Spec Racing Frame. But yeah, if I didn't answer any of the questions that you guys had, make sure to leave them down in the comments. If you've got any questions or really anything, you can leave them down in the comments. Me and Evan are checking those frequently to answer any that y'all might have. If you want to see any of the content I post, like racing on the sim or real life or any really any drone-related stuff, you can go to my socials, which is FoshiFPV on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. But yeah, that's where I post all my stuff. But I hope you guys enjoyed the build video, and I'll see you guys on the next one.